All right, Virgo, what up? Welcome to the channel. I appreciate anybody who comes here and shows me love in any type of way. I love you back. Let's get into it. We're going to do a spiritual reading. We're going to see what's going on with you spiritually and see what the energy is that's being sent towards you spiritually. All right, let's get it. What's going on with Virgo spiritually at this time? Oof. Uh, it says, you look so dumb right now. Um, know you're only sorry you got caught. Go ahead and take a bow, energy. Okay. So spiritually right now, there's someone here who is getting caught. Okay. This person who's getting caught could come in and try to say sorry in a dumb way. Okay. Um, but this person is only sorry that they got caught up. Uh, let's see. What's the energy being sent towards Virgo? Emotional damage. And then we have poker face. Okay. So spiritually, there's someone sending emotional energy towards you. They want you to be emotionally fragile, upset, emotionally unstable. They want you crying and hurt about something. They want to fuck up you and your emotions. Okay. Why is this energy here for Virgo spiritually? Okay. Why is this energy here for Virgo spiritually? What's going on at this time? We have joy. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then we have fear. So, Virgo, you're getting some type of promotion here with the Ace of Hearts. The Ace of Hearts talks about new love, new opportunities, um, a baby, um, new beginnings, things that make you overpour. It's basically the Ace of Cups, all right? The beginning of fertile times, the beginning of fertile energy. And it's making someone look very dumb, okay? Whoever this is that is looking dumb is only looking dumb because you're the one who's doing better at this time it's causing a whole lot of fear what's the energy being sent towards virgo spiritually with emotional damage oh, we have the nine of clubs to the joker okay dazed at the bottoms we're going to start out with the Nine of Clubs energy. It talks about completion. The Nine of Clubs talks about the completion of a project, the completion of something here. And then we have uh, the Joker, Joker of Hearts. The Jack of Hearts, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so the jack of hearts talks about jealousy moody overactive imaginary um not making a move not interested romantic with energy okay pisces energy is showing up like i said there is some type of completion going on spiritually this completion is bringing in new productive flowing energy for you and it's making a whole lot of people look dumb okay whoever is looking dumb is looking down because they sent you a whole bunch of emotional energy and with the nine of coins you overcame that energy right and they continue to send you this energy that you are overcoming so it's making these people look dumb because they're only sending you this energy so that you won't be rejuvenated you won't be accepting you won't be open-minded you won't be thoughtful you won't be appreciative so you won't grow and feel enlightened and feel blessed they're sending you this energy to fuck up your eternal state but you're showing up as the ace of cups overpouring happy energy these people whoever is sending you this energy is upset because it's not working. You're supposed to be emotional, but you're showing up strong. So whatever they're doing is clearly not working. Somebody could also want to send people towards you romantically that um, have nothing good to offer you. 
Okay. But let's see. Two cards of emotional damage. Someone trying to emotionally fuck you up. Um, <laughs> and then one card of completion. Let's get it. Why does you look so dumb right now? Yeah, you saw the King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be significant. Why does you look so dumb right now? Here for what's going on with Virgo spiritually. We have the Eight of Swords coming out. Eight of Swords talks about restrictions, not seeing something clearly, blocks. We have the Seven of Wands, okay? What's the Eight of Swords to the Seven of Wands? We have the Seven of Swords, okay? Seven, seven could be significant. Nine of Cups, still emotionally stable. Isn't that weird? You get betrayed, you have sudden endings, and you're still emotionally stable. And there goes the Ace of Coins to the Judgment, the Ace of Cups card. Okay, you're being given something, and it's because something has been reviewed, okay? Or you were able to review, heal from something, manifest, moving on, okay? And now there's someone who wants to come towards you, but they have to, oh... That's why they want you to be emotionally unstable so you don't make sound decisions. There's someone here who wanted you emotionally unstable. They wanted you sad and desperate. So when they came back in, you would be more prone to letting them in. Okay. But instead, they still look dumb because you are emotionally stable in every asset and every aspect. So there's no reason for this person to come back into your energy. Okay, with the Eight of Swords to the Seven of Wands, all right, there could have been some type of restriction, blocks in your plans or inability to see the situation clearly due to overthinking. And this energy of overthinking was being sent towards you. It was supposed to make you emotionally unstable. But Virgo, you still stood your ground. Okay. Some of you have fought emotional instability and you have won several times. So whoever's trying to play with your emotion obviously does not know that you have your emotions under check, okay? With the Seven of Swords energy, this is you standing your ground against deception, okay? If you have no reason to be sad, why would you be sad? If you have no reason to feel emotional damage, why would you feel emotional damage? This is giving me the energy of you overcoming some type of spell work by just being logical and standing your ground on your beliefs and what you know and protecting your peace, your mind, and your joy. There's no way somebody can rob me of my happiness if I don't let them. Okay, and now we're getting into the song of the day, Virgo, which is my happy all right, I'll put it down in the comments below so you can listen to it as well. But basically, it talks about uh, someone's happiness, all right? Your joy. Someone was not able to rob you of your joy, make you look uh, emotionally unstable, make you do and act out of emotional instability. You protected yourself against deception and lies and conceit, and you stayed balanced, Okay, what's the Ace of Hearts energy here for Virgo spiritually? What's the Ace of Hearts here for Virgo spiritually, please? <laughs> we have the Eight of Pentacles. Something was hard work here. We have the Six of Swords to so the Strength card. And then we have the Hierophant. See, these people, there were some people, a group of people, or whoever this was, that was sending you emotional damage, stability, uh, emotional damage to your emotional stability. They were trying to rock you by making you think of the past or disappointments or restrictions. They were really trying to fuck with you by breaking down your sense of worth, your sense 
of value, how your beliefs, what you stand on, they were really trying to come at you. And it was hard work for you to get to a better place mentally, Virgo, but you doing this gave you more mental strength. This is like somebody doing something to you to make you angry and all it does is make people make you more happy like all it does is make you stronger and more resistant against anger like if somebody wanted you to be a crybaby you experienced so much energy that made you want to cry that it made you have no more tears you don't feel that emotion anymore if someone invaded you was trying to make you feel shy Okay, you felt so shy that you was just like, I'm not going to be shy no more. Like this is that type of energy. Somebody did something and made it hard for you to work through something, hoping that you would give up, hoping that you would fold, hoping that you would just accept that this is your reality, that you're going to be sad and emotional. But instead, Virgo, it only made you mentally stronger. It only took you to a better place. Okay, it only put you in alignment with God. Five of Wands, all this conflict did was make you cool under pressure. Okay, so right now there's a group of people who is out here looking very dumb because they thought that they were going to spiritually attack you and your emotions and make you, make you look stupid, make you get caught up, make you fold, Virgo. But all it did was bring you more strength, more value, more blessings more prosperity, the higher thing. Okay, let's see this energy being sent towards you with emotional damage. Who is sending this emotional damage towards Virgo? Could definitely damn well be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, Pisces energy. Who is sending Virgo? Somebody could be at a distance from you. Who is sending Virgo this energy? We have the Ten of Swords. Who is sending Virgo this energy? We have the Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. And then we have the Three of Wands. <laughs> the Nine of Wands energy. Okay, like I said, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries for whoever is sending you this energy. Um, this person who's sending you this energy could be betraying you. Okay. This person could also be experiencing sudden endings and betrayals themselves. For the Queen of Swords to the Three of Wands, I feel like this person is betraying you by saying things. The Queen of Swords saying something to you doing things, expecting you to be emotionally damaged by whatever they are doing or whatever they're saying. Okay. Whoever this is, whoever this is is spending a whole lot of energy getting news about you. All right. They could be trying to extort you, get something out of you, but they're regretting something something isn't working out for these people they may know that you're getting opportunities over here so with the two of pinnacles to the world to the death someone is making some decision that something is over all right and since something is over someone wants to say something to you to give you emotional damage so that you aren't happy somebody okay <laughs> let's see why is shy energy here with the completion why is shy energy here with completion yeah we have the ten of pentacles to the magician Okay, and why is guilt here? We have the two of swords. Blockages, instability, and we have the devil. And then we have the nine of the seven of coins to the moon card. This is somebody doing something toxic, investing in it, and then 
being paranoid about it because you succeeded over it. You succeed over some type of attack. Okay, so with the nine uh, suits, there's something that has been completed out. It's ending with your energy, the Ten of Pentacles. So this person here is trying to make you feel um, emotional damage around something because they know once you or once something is completed, you get the Ten of Pentacles. With the Knight of Cups, I mean the Jack of Cups energy with the Two of Swords, there is someone here who... Is trying to create emotional instability around your love life and relationships. They're trying to use these people or use that um, to make yourself you feel like there's no way of progressing forward. That you're always going to be with someone toxic. Um, that type of energy. Okay, it's giving me the energy of the completion of this would be you getting into a marriage, okay, or you already completed over this. Whoever this is was trying to block something by causing emotional stability. So somebody wanted to block the completion of your Ten of Pentacles by causing you emotional stability, instability, okay? How did this turn out for this person? How did this turn out for the person who is doing this to Virgo? We have the Nine of Wands. Okay. And then we have the Four of Cups. So this person who did this to you is experiencing some type of health problem. Something is taking a toll on them with a the Nine of Wands energy. They're having to stand their ground. We got the Tower. Woo. In the reverse, what's the Nine of Wands to the Tower in the reverse? The Five of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Coins to the Five of Wands. And we have the Ten of Wands, Three of Cups. So whoever is sending you this negative spiritual energy, Virgo, uh, they... It's taking a toll on them. They're being extorted physically on their health. Their well-being is being extorted. Um, with the tower in the reverse, something was inevitable for this person to experience some type of poverty or left out in a cold energy because they were dedicated to causing conflicts for you. Okay. Closing message. We have the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? We have the Three of Swords. And then we have the Five of Swords energy. And we have the Lovers. Yeah. There's some fortune after misfortune. Okay. Because some type of heartbreak or loss was sabotage. It was intentional. What's the Three of Swords to the Five of Swords? We have the Queen of Cups. What's the Three of Swords to the Five of Swords? We have the Hierophant, the Page of Swords. I mean, the Hierophant, the Chariot to the Page of Swords. And we have the Five of Cups energy. Regret. Um, so, somebody here. You're having fortune after misfortune because some type of loss was like sabotage, Virgo. But with the Queen of Cups to the Hierophant, once you remained emotionally balanced and stayed in line with the Chariot, you moved past some type of spiritual sabotage. You learned from it, okay? This is that energy I told you about. It made you spiritually stronger, wiser, emotionally wiser, stronger, all that. So somebody here who is doing something only really helped you out yeah we have the lovers okay 
We have the Four of Swords to the Page of Wands. The Three of Cups to the Two of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords. There is someone here who helps you level up spiritually, emotionally, financially, um, and physically, okay? This was somebody here who thought that they were going to hurt you, but in reality, they made it so you can get your blessings faster. Somebody here who was betraying you by saying things or setting up boundaries or trying to separate you from the things that were coming in for you by causing you emotional instability. Um, whatever this energy is, is backfiring on this person. They're the ones who is experiencing some type of nine of wands, inevitable tower. They're losing financially because they are still dedicated to conflicting with you and your peace, even though they look dumb, okay? Uh, Virgo Spirit is telling you that since you learned some type of lesson, there could be some type of partnership that went on hold that you could be getting a message from. Whoever this is definitely wants to reunite and create future plans with you. This is the energy I have for you spiritually. And this is a good example of why you don't send people weird energy spiritually. You should just mind your business and move on with your life. Okay, karma is the best revenge. And when you take action to get revenge on people, you end up getting karma. So there's someone learning this lesson here, Virgo, and there's good news coming towards you. This is what I got here for you. Peace.